Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator and today we have an exciting video lined up for you. We'll be taking a closer look at the Longer B1, a 30 watt diode laser engraver. We'll explore its specification, discover the possibilities it offers and address an important safety concern. Let's begin by discussing the specifications of the Longer B1 laser engraver. The B1 is the latest offering from Longer and it features a powerful 30 watt laser module. Now, actually this laser delivers an optical output power of somewhere between 33 to 36 watts. How? Well, it combines six 6 watt laser modules to generate a single beam of laser light. The laser beam has a spot size of 0.08 by 0.1 mm, which gives a relatively large curve compared to other diode laser engravers. Additionally, the longer B1 boasts a large bed size of 440 by 450 mm, making it one of the largest out-of-the-box laser engraving machines available. It's capable of cutting through materials like 20 to 25 mm basswood and even up to 50 mm thick acrylic. To ensure clean and precise cuts, the machine comes equipped with an air assist system. With an engraving speed of up to 36,000 mm per minute, this laser is incredibly efficient. Now let's talk about the exciting possibilities the Longer B1 offers. This laser engraver allows you to create stunning engravings on various materials, such as wood, leather, acrylic, stone and even metal. I've personally used it to engrave photos, create text and signs and even make a custom box for my wireless microphones. The results were truly beautiful. In fact, when I compared the engravings from this mach machine to other higher priced options that I own, I was pleasantly surprised. The Longer B1 delivers comparable if not better results and what's even more impressive is the price point of this machine. However, there is also an important safety concern that I must address. Initially I was even hesitant to make this review because of a safety aspect of the laser that really troubled me. When you install the laser in Lightburn and use the automatic detection function, it might seem like everything is working fine, but unfortunately the machine now becomes extremely dangerous and could potentially even start a fire. Here's what happens. When you start engraving with the machine and press the stop button in Lightburn, it holds the laser movement but it doesn't stop the laser beam itself. This means that the beam continues to emit light, potentially causing a fire. Additionally, when engraving drawings with corners, the laser stops at each corner without turning off, resulting in burned holes in every corner of your engraving. Now, this safety concern is a big red flag for me and it's crucial to address it. Surprisingly, not many YouTubers have mentioned this issue. The only ones I've seen doing it are Fintauri and Steve Makes Everything. Now that's why I decided to also make this video to ensure that all my viewers are aware of the potential dangers and know how to set up the machine correctly. To avoid these safety risks it's essential to follow the written instructions provided with this machine. Make sure to use the Gerbil drivers instead of the Gerbil M3 drivers that are installed automatically when you use the function in Lightburn. This is mentioned in the booklet or file that comes with the laser. I believe it's a significant oversight on part of the longer engineers to have the laser advertise itself as a Gerbil M3 device when it's not and I hope to address this in a future firmware update. Now let's summarize the pros and the cons of the longer B1 laser engraver. On the positive side, considering its price, this machine has no competitors. Other laser engravers with comparable specification often come at a much higher cost and in some cases they may even offer less functionality or slower performance. The quality of the engravings produced by the Longer B1 is really impressive. It cuts through materials like a warm knife cuts through butter and once you've set it up correctly it's straightforward and safe to use. On the flip side, the machine's homing process is quite slow, which can be a little bit frustrating. Additionally, the cabling from the machine to the air assist could be improved. 
It's not a critical flaw, but it's an aspect that could have been better designed. Now, in conclusion, would I recommend the longer B1 laser engraver? Well, absolutely. It's one of the best high power laser engravers that you can buy for under a thousand dollars. It easily competes with machines that are priced 1.5 times higher or even more. The longer B1 delivers exceptional value and impressive results. Just remember to follow the correct setup instructions and prioritize safety when working with lasers. Now, this wraps up this video. Before we go, a quick reminder to always be safe when working with lasers and never hesitate to seek supervision or guidance. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay creative and I'll see you later. Bye!